everybody. Welcome to the stream. I hope you can hear me okay. Let me adjust my mic there. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. It's Sunday. We're going to have Strange Town Sunday today, and I'm really looking forward to today because we are having Johnny Smith's wedding today, and I did get all of my custom content moved over. Hopefully everything's there. I'm pretty sure it is this time. So we should have everything available, all mods available. Um... Oh, yes, and happy Easter to everyone who celebrates Easter as well. Hello, guys. Uh, happy Easter to you. I forgot it was Easter because I don't really celebrate. I forgot until my sister texted me this morning. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Tristess, for the 22-month uh, Prime sub. And thank you so much, Akasha, for the five-month Prime sub. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. I am. It's been a lovely weekend here. Like, the weather has been so nice. I wish it would stay like this all year round. It's been like, in the, it's been like 70 degrees, but it's kind of like cool. It, it feels cooler than that. I don't know. It's not too humid yet. Hello. Hello, Kiwi. Hello, Alice Kim. Super Muley. Cunning JJ. Hello, Dragon. Hello, Nathan as well. A second child from one of the houses could become heir when these two get married. Oh, I miss, I totally missed what you were answering there. <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. I am doing great today. Thank you so much for asking, Emma. Hello, Pink. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Psilocyduck, Duck, for the five, uh, or for the ten months at Tier 1. Happy Sunday, Cindy, in chat. Thank you. Happy Sunday to you as well. So I have my Strange Town. I already loaded it up back here. And, yeah, we're just gonna dive right in today. Oh my god, is that really- that's super loud to me. I got my coffee here. This is vanilla hazelnut I'm drinking today. Freshly brewed. I just brewed it like five minutes before the stream started. It's evening where you are? Well, it is noon 03. It's 1203 here. <laughs> Uh, everything is, should be back to how it's supposed to be, yes. I spent, so last night and this morning, um, re-downloading all my downloads and re- and unzipping them and re-putting them back in, so everything should be there. Um, it's 6 p.m. in Stoke, wow. 6 in the UK, 7 in Poland. Hello, Llama Face! <laughs> yeah, noon 03, that's what time it is. Uh, thank you so much, Dragon, for the 13 months at Tier 1. I really appreciate that. Um, let me see here. The poll? Yeah. What should be served at Johnny's wedding in the poll? Spaghetti, egg, nuts, bread, or bathroom brownies? <laughs> you guys decide. So far, spaghetti is winning. With bathroom brownies being second place. And egg being third. <laughs> The poll's empty on mobile? I see it here on my desktop. I don't know. Maybe try to refresh or something. I don't know, guys. It's weird. Happy Easter to any of your UK nuts. Happy Easter to all the nuts. The poll is being served. No, not poll. <laughs> poll is not being served. So, yeah. We'll go, we'll go ahead and get over into the game, guys, and start... Getting ready for the wedding here. Um, one second. Oh my gosh. I keep going back and forth. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, let me bring you guys over into the game. So, ooh, if you didn't see my stinger yesterday, you get to see it today. Here it comes. Get ready. Woo! Fancy! And then it, and then it gave us a drag in again for 13 months. Ooh, it's loud to me. It's super loud. Uh, okay, where are we? Where are we? I forgot where we're at. No. Johnny, Johnny, there you are. Johnny lives right across the street from our skating rink as well. Hey, we can also send Ishmael over to the skating rink to have a skate around. All right. So yeah, Johnny's son, if you didn't see yesterday's stream, um, I'm going to post it on YouTube after this stream. Um, <laughs> I've been promoted to Pro Streamer Plus, yes. Uh, Johnny's son, Ishmael, who was, his mother was o Ophelia, but Ophelia passed away in childbirth in my strange town. Um, Ishmael aged up to a teen and he plays bass. He's a bass guitar player. He's super cool. Uh, hello, Magnolia. 
do, 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 do. Man, I can never get enough of The Sims 2 music ever in my life. I could listen to this soundtrack. I probably listened to it thousands and thousands of times. I never get tired of it. You watched the stream where Ophelia died yesterday. I know it was so sad. That sucked. That was one of the. That's the like the saddest thing that's happened in our Strange Town so far. It's gonna take it a minute to load here. So yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna get Johnny. We got. First of all, we gotta change Johnny's clothes because. If you missed yesterday, some of my um, custom content did not make it over into the new merged folder for my Google Drive. So, so everything's kind of screwed up in the Smith household, including their clothing and their furnishings. So we're going to have to remodel the house today uh, after the wedding. We're going to wait till after the wedding to remodel the house. That way Johnny's new wife can bring in some money. Hopefully she brings in some money. Uh, I am going to make Strange Town and Oasis Springs eventually. I just haven't really been uh, playing The Sims much because my computer's been down for several weeks. And then before that, I was having like some personal issues and stuff. So I haven't really tackled any new big project lately. Uh, what's the weirdest relationship combo you've had in Strange Town? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I don't think I've had any like super weird ones. Thank you so much, Kaizak1993, for the 14-month Prime sub. What do you guys think is the weirdest one? I, I guess, to me, it would be uh, General Buzz and Kristen. To me, I think that's the weirdest one. Other than that, I think they're all pretty... pretty normal so far. In my eyes, anyway. I don't know what you consider normal. <laughs> Yeah, I was having fun playing uh, by Pleasant View in The Sims 4. The only thing is, I, I'm going to continue playing Sims 4 Pleasant View on the stream here on Twitch. Um, I, I plan to do it on Sundays going forward, but I have to go update all my mods from the latest updates, and I didn't have a chance to do that this weekend because I just got my computer back working yesterday morning. Melba and the Prison Guard. Now, that was a weird one, too. You are right. Okay, poll ended. We're gonna, we got to serve spaghetti at the wedding. Okay, so everybody's been reset again now that I put um, all my custom content back. And now, yes, we have pretty eyes again. Oops. Give me, let, let me see you. Let me see you. We have our pretty eyes back. And let's check out Ishmael. And we need to, we're going to redo his room, too, for his teenage room, for his new teenage style, y'all. Hello, Fallen for Fiction. Hello, Angel Kiss. Uh, yeah, see, oh my gosh, look how cute he looks. He's adorable. I don't, I, I even want to, I want to let him keep this hair. I mean, this is a Max's hair, I'm pretty sure. Tell me if I'm wrong. I think it is by looking at the texture. Or maybe we could find the same hair. Hold on. We got Gussie up back. Yes, Gussie up is here. Hold on a second. Let's just look. We're going to change appearance. I have a feeling that Ishmael's gonna be real popular. He's gonna be a really popular sim. He's a romance sim, he plays bass, like, he's all, like, I would've fallen for him as a teenager, definitely. Uh, thank you so much, Kit Kat M8, for the six months at tier one, thank you. You're playing your Belladonna Cove rotation? It's, I don't know why it's taking so long for Gussie up, y'all. It's, it's sitting here loading for a second. So many romance sims in Strange Town, no kidding. So many of our teens right now are romance sims. Both of the curious, uh, Harper and Gabby are both romance. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. I just love him. I wanted to see if I could find a hair very similar to this style, but in the texture, in the, in the new hairstyle texture that I like to use. We're gonna look. Um, he is related to Gabby and Harper, yes. He's like, what is it, Hendrick? Hendrick, are you here? <laughs> Hendrick knows. Second cousin once removed or something? I don't know. Yes, the prediction is still here. Wait, this one looks... No, that one's got like bangs on it. I want I want the side swept bangs, but I want the long hair. Tell me if you see one. Let's keep going. Second cousin once removed, Nathan says. Thank you, Nathan. Oh, this one right here, I think. Let's try that. Uh... It's not quite the same, is it? Let's keep looking. We're gonna give him something cute. 
Oh, thank you so much, BB Goth, for the 31 months at Tier 1. Thank you so much. Hey, Cindy, glad you were able to get everything back up and running. Hope you've been well. I have. Thank you very much. Um, you haven't missed anything yet, Snowy Oreo. We're just trying to find a hairstyle for Ishmael here that was kind of like the one that he had. Okay, definitely not that. Not that. I mean, that one is cute, but I liked the one he had. Dang it. I was hoping there was like a version of that that was kind of retextured. Wait, hold on, hold on, go back. Nah. The one with the hat fourth along the top row? Oh no, I don't like that one. <laughs> I think I like this one better. Um, let me just look. What did he have? Am I missing my hiders? Dang it, apparently I am. I shouldn't be. I swear I got everything. That one look I kind of like that one. What do you guys think about that one? Today was the first time you played The Sims 4 in over a week. I haven't played The Sims 4 in like a month. I kind of like this one. No, definitely not that one. We're going back. We're going to go with that one. This is the one he had. I actually, I like this one the best. I don't even care if it's Max's hair. I still think it looks the best. I'm, I'm just, never mind. Never mind about all that. Oh, while we're here, we're going to give him some eye, eyelashes. There we go. It's not Max's hair? Oh. It's a custom hair? It looks like Max's hair to me, doesn't it? I don't know. The texture looks very Maxis to me, but I don't care. I like it. Either way, I like it. We're keeping it. All right, you guys are saying it's not Maxis. I believe you. I believe you. But the texture does look Maxis. Sometimes I can't tell. <clears throat> yeah, the retexture does look weird in this one. But I still like the hair. I still like it best on him, so I'm letting him keep it. All right. Okay. Now, but now he's got some eyelashes after all that. Look, he's happy. Look at his little smile. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's Max's match, CC. Yeah. He uses a lot of hair gel. Yeah, so that's what we will tell ourselves. Okay, so it's 11.16 and everybody should actually be in bed. So, uh, oh, now you can't go back to bed because your energy. I'm going to make you sleepy so you can go back to bed. I'm going to cheat a little bit because everybody got reset. So I'm going to cheat a little bit so they can go back to sleep. All right. Now, as you can see here, uh, Johnny wants to get married to Caitlin. Oh, and we need to change his outfit, too. Oops, not macro. <coughs> so we're going to do Gussie up. Um, I wonder if we can do plan outfit. Probably not. Let's buy clothes. I don't have the updated Gussie up in here, either. Okay. I, some of the Max's hairs I really don't mind, but I like all my textures to match, and that one looks kind of out of place. Okay, he does have he does have that in his closet. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Aw, uh, thank you, Simon, for life. I'm glad to be back. Give me just a second as I scroll through all these outfits, y'all. Sorry. No, come here, come here, you. Gussy up plan outfit. That's what I should have done first. Hello, Colin Twitch. You had this you had this hair and you had to default the non maxis match version by yourself. Oh, he went to sleep anyway. Never mind. He'll we'll do it when he wakes up. So yeah, we've got see the how the uh, house has no like wall like no wall wall paint wall paint? What am I trying to say? Wall coverings. They're just bare ass walls, so we gotta do all that. We gotta fix the furniture. Okay, so this is what he's supposed to be wearing. Um, he's supposed to be wearing that jacket. That's fine. That is, oh no, he's got to get a new tux, y'all. That He is not getting married in that tux. Oh my god. Thank you so much an Armadillo Pinata for the 12 month prime sub. So we've got to send him, we've got to send him to the store. <laughs> he's got to go get a tux. Butler Johnny. He's got to go get a tux. 
Um, right now, actually. Well, it's 1.58 a.m., okay? No. Why are you awake? Go back to sleep. Are you awake? Okay, no, you're still in bed. All right. I made him get up and change his clothes. Go back to sleep. And then in the morning, he's going to go over to the mall and get himself a new tux. Get ready for the big day. <laughs> Maybe his dad gave him that tux and he took it just to be polite. Must be. It's not letting you resub with your Prime membership. Um, it shows that you have a Prime membership already. A already going on. So maybe it hasn't um, expired yet. I know, I'm pretty sure there is a mod where they can sleep at energy any energy level. I'm pretty sure I've seen that, but maybe not. I feel like there's a mod for everything you need in The Sims 2 somewhere. Somebody has made it. Okay, so Johnny, uh, why don't you go ahead and go to the bathroom and... Oh, I put another shower downstairs and I didn't even realize that we already had another full bath upstairs. So now we've got three full baths and I didn't even... I forgot about this other bathroom, y'all. So this is kind of like Ishmael's bathroom over here. So he's going to go use that. And then he can just hang... Actually, he can go to the mall with his dad. Why not? They can both go together. And we need to check on his tux as well and see, like, how bad it is. <laughs> you remember trying to sleep anytime mod, but it didn't work? Oh. I'm sure. I, that doesn't sound like it would be too difficult to make for somebody who knows to make mods, but I don't know for sure. But It's not active. You're getting ads. I don't know, Bethany. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's showing, to me, it's showing that you are still subscribed as Prime. Um, okay, let's see. We're gonna do plan outfit on him and just see if we need to get him a new tux as well. Let's see. Uh, yeah, all the m missing- well, I'm pretty sure all the missing stuff is back. Okay, his tux is pretty bad, too. I mean, it's not terrible, but I, I don't think it suits him. So we're gonna go get tuxes for both of them for the wedding today. Um, all his other clothes look pretty good, though. Yeah, all right. So, now they've both gone to the bathroom. Do they need anything else? They're a little bit hungry, but maybe they could get some breakfast over at the restaurant. Okay, let's see. All right, you know what? I'm just going to have them grab... Let's see. Let's see if there's any leftovers they could eat really quick here. Because going to the restaurant is going to take up too much time when we really need to get to the wedding. And then i got to have Johnny come back and cook some spaghetti. Uh, yes, we are renovating the house today after the wedding. Wedding is top priority. And then after the wedding, we're going to renovate the house, um, the parts that need to be renovated. Yeah, there's, see, now our, our custom food is back. All right, come on. You come get some leftovers, too. Y'all just eat some breakfast real quick. Where are you, what are you doing? Johnny has the day off today. Uh-oh, we've got bills to pay as well. So, Johnny, after you eat... No, stop watching TV. I, I told him to eat twice. You come down here and get your breakfast. You pay the bills. All right. Um, what am I looking for? Bank online. Pay bills. After you finish eating your breakfast soup. Is that what it is? Oh, no, that's, that's oatmeal, I think. I don't know what the hell that is. Fruit parfait. It's fruit parfait. Um, you can do online clothes shopping. Yes, you can. But I prefer to go out. I'd go out into the world if I can. If I didn't have time, I would have them do I would have them uh, do it online. But thanks so much, hey Lainey, for the four months tier one sub. Thank you so much. I mean, that's all fruit parfait is, right? Breakfast soup? <laughs> okay, once he pays the bills, then they're going to head down. Um to the store. They're going to take the car. So let's see. We're going to go somewhere. Um, the prediction was for if they're going to actually get married or if Caitlin is going to leave him at the altar. <laughs> Breakfast pink soup. Uh, Cindy, did you check their bank accounts? Once I reinstalled Sims 2 and forgot to put the mods folder since bank accounts are global, they were gone. Yeah, I, I didn't check before, but I, I keep it in the spreadsheet. 
So I didn't have anything in there in Johnny's in my spreadsheet for Johnny's bank account. So I don't think that they had anything in there. Everybody else I have it written down. Um, so yeah, I don't think that they had anything. Well, Ishmael needs needs to open a bank account and put 200 in there. So I do need to do that for him. But I don't think Johnny had any. Okay, so we're going down to the Desert Sands Strip Mall. Let's go, y'all. Gotta go get a tux. Yes, Razor Waiter should be there. <laughs> he should be there in all his razor, razory glory. Yeah, I try to keep everything like that in a spreadsheet because I've had the same thing happen to me before where I lost everybody's money. And I think I did that in my main Pleasant View. Because Gia was supposed to have a bunch of money from college. And I was like, oh, she's completely broke. But she wasn't. I just, because I moved my mod, mods folder out. Yeah, it resets everybody's bank account. The coffee is Cameron's va Hazelnut Vanilla today. Or Vanilla Hazelnut, I think is what it is. Oh, I still haven't moved the uh, mailbox. Yeah, I had the computers yesterday, but I don't know if it, I don't know, in like the transfer, transferring everything around, I don't know if it resets stuff or not. But I do have everybody's amounts in the spreadsheets so that we should be good. Yeah, this coffee's really good. I love it. It's a very tasty. You have Ikea coffee in your stash to go on when I have used all my Starbucks one. Oh, I've never had Ikea coffee before. Okay, here we go. Why are they in the yellow? What's wrong? What's wrong with them? Oh, they're not. That was weird. All right, so here's the Desert Sand Strip Mall. Once again, I will advertise this. If you like this lot, you can download it on PleasantSims.com. It does use custom content, but I have everything listed in the post. And this is my favorite lot I ever built, so I always have to say that. Um, <coughs> it has a grocery store, clothing store, restaurant, and pet store. So it has everything you need. Your one stop, your one stop shop for Strange Town. And so we are going to go to the clothing store here, and you're going to go buy formal, and you're going to go buy formal. That's I hope they have enough money. How much is formal? Is it four hundred? I like to see it with the walls up, but it's, it does, and also it does have a lot of objects on it, um, so it can lag occasionally if your computer's not that great. 400 each, I thought so. Oh yeah, I didn't go here yesterday, and I'm so glad I didn't. If I did, I would have just re-downloaded the lot. I would have just bulldozed the lot and re-downloaded it, because I would not have come in here and fixed everything. Oh no. Okay, so let's buy him. I think, like, something like this looks a little bit better for him. Oh, I like that one for him. We're going to get him this one. All right, add that to the cart. All right, you go buy that. Where is Johnny? Oh, here he comes. Oh, there's uh, Loki. All right, what formal are we going to get for you, my friend? Let's see. I, I feel like I need more formal for The Sims 2 guys, you know? I like, I feel like I, I need more like, more modern looking like tailored suits and stuff. Oh yeah, I do need to add the electronic kiosk. I'll have to come back and do that. Oh wait, go back, go back. Does that look like something Johnny would get married in? <laughs> is that appropriate? I think it is. I think he would definitely get married in that. He's getting married in that. We're doing it. Or should I make it more formal? I don't know. Let me keep, let me look at what all I have. I don't know, cause something like that looks kind of cute too. I don't know. Oh no, I'm missing I'm missing something here. <laughs> the red formal wear for the guys is always so difficult. You think he'll get dumped if he wears that? Yeah, that's true. We better make him look a little snazzier, huh? Um, uh, how about? Oh, I like this one. This one is cute. Let's give him this one. All right. Okay. And then we need to do a plan outfit. Uh, oh, he's... 
All right, Ishmael just paid for his. Now Johnny's gonna pay for his. Man, I swear, just love the uh, retail in The Sims 2. It is so good. And let me pause real quick so I can bring you over to the changing rooms. Plan outfit formal. Why can you? Why can he not plan outfit? How come Johnny can plan outfit, but Ishmael cannot plan outfit? That's weird. I guess we can just do it through Gussie up. Where are you going, buddy? You're going to play in the computer in the office of the grocery store. I don't think that's- I don't think you're supposed to do that. Alright, there's his formal outfit. Uh, he's looking right at us, y'all. He broke the fourth wall again. He looked into our souls. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe they're taken. I, I can't click on them whenever I have Ishmael. Oh, well, we'll just get, do it for the Gussie Up menu. So we're going to plan outfit. His everyday is fine. Um, here we go. So here's his new tux. All right. And everything else is good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And, oh, you put on your suit. Okay, he's ready to go. So now I guess they're just going to go back home. And let me check and see, did I put an ele electronics kiosk in here? I don't think I did. I did not. I don't know where I would put it. Where would I put it? I guess I could put it in the grocery store. Or like outside. I don't want to put it outside. I'm trying to figure out like a good place I could put it. Tell me if you see a good spot. You could put it in the corner of the restaurant, I guess. Loki's eating breakfast by himself. Oh, there's Razor Waiter. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his razory fingers shredding up his face. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could put it in. We'll put it in the grocery store. Somewhere. Yeah, we could like replace one of the bread racks or something. Move one of the bread racks over and put it right there. Yeah, we could do that. Or maybe put it over in this corner and move this plant out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's go ahead and send them home. Uh, so we can start getting ready for the wedding. We gotta get a wedding cake. We gotta make some spaghetti. We gotta invite everybody over. You know, Strange Town, Strange Town, we do not have a wedding venue in Strange Town. But Strange Town also cannot afford a wedding venue, so they are broke. Well, I have no money for an arch and cake. We'll sell some of the furniture. Some of the furniture that we don't want. We'll go ahead and sell some of it when we get back to the house. And uh, we'll buy the arch and cake with that. Oh, Barb's Bots. That would be a good place for the electronic thing. For the electronics. Yes. And more people could go, go and visit it that way as well. It does make sense. Strange Town would have a razor waiter. I know a wedding venue could make the town money. We could charge people to have uh, their weddings there. But maybe when we get to uh, to the Beaker family next, I'm going to have the Beaker family donate some money to the town. So maybe that can help us. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't remember how much money they have. All right, they're going to be back home in an hour. Here they come. That was fast. I don't feel like that was an hour had passed. Did it? Was it? I don't know. Okay, they're back. And now, okay, first things first, go start cooking this baguette. And serve, oh no, it's breakfast. Okay, we'll just do make a group meal. Since that's what you guys voted for. And then Ishmael, you're good. The maid is here to clean up before the wedding. That's perfect, because the house is kind of a mess. No, why didn't you go cook? I told you to go cook. Make group meal. He was like, no, I'm going to go play bass. I don't want to cook. It's your wedding day. Go cook. Ishmael can play. Ishmael can play the, uh, can play the bass and serenade the wedding. Oh, yeah, I could sell the telescope. That's true. How much will we get for that? 840? I don't know. I don't want to sell the telescope yet. What else can I sell? I know there's some furniture upstairs that we're not going to be keeping, like, this. 
that's 850 for that dresser right there. So that pretty much does the trick. And then I don't know why that's there. And uh, I'm gonna sell this one too. And that's 608 right there. Okay, perfect. So that gives us enough for the wedding. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the cake. Where's my wedding cake? Where's my wedding cake? Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll get this one right here. I'm gonna put it right there on that table. That's the cake table in this house. <laughs> Sell the maid's kidney. And then let's do, where's the arch? We're just gonna do this, this kind of inexpensive arch here and we'll just, they're just gonna get married out here in the yard, in the dirt yard. Or maybe we should do it on the patio here. We'll do it on the patio. Okay, they're gonna get married right there. It'll be, that'll be nice. Nice view of, of the skyline back there. And they don't, everybody doesn't have to stand in the dirt. <coughs> so, okay, this is gonna be fun. We're just waiting on Johnny to cook, waiting on the maid to finish cleaning up the house, and then we'll throw the party. Ishmael forming a band called Merc and the Perks. Yes. <laughs> don't forget the spaghetti. <laughs> Oh yeah, the beakers might offer a generous, re a generous reward for providing a specimen. Is the arch backwards? I, I don't know, maybe, is it? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Fe make your feast. Make your feast for your wedding day. They're trying to save money. They're having their wedding at home. They're cooking their own food for it. I want to make a bakery, too, so that they have to go and buy their cakes. I had a bakery in Edgewood, I think. No, don't clean that up! What are you doing? Oh, she just cleaned the counter. Okay, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to actually move that because I, like, I don't like what you're doing there. Oh, there's nowhere to put it. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, the wedding mat. Yes, yes. I forgot about the wedding mat. Um... Where is it? Okay. I don't remember where it is. Shouldn't it be under party? Am I just missing it? Oh, there it is. It's 810, so we'll have to, let's sell that and then we can get the wedding mat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. You can use the arch and the wedding mat, but they don't have enough money for that. So we're just gonna do the mat. Yeah, I really like the bakery gameplay. It is super fun, yeah. A flower shop, yes. I want to do everything eventually. Maybe some of our richer sims can start uh, owning businesses kind of like um, our last family did with a skating rink. Alright, hurry up, Genesis! Hurry up and clean this mess up! Look at this filthy kitchen. We can't have a wedding here. Hurry up! Oh, Johnny's going to check out the wedding mat. He's like, yes, this meets my approval. I do want to return to Edgewood. I, I do, yeah. The wedding mat is a mod that you can use to get married. And uh, when you do, it it uses Sims uh, as bridesmaids. So you'll have bridesmaids come up. Johnny, what are you doing? Oh, he's playing the piano. And Ishmael's play- see they've got entertainment already. They're just gonna entertain. We don't have to pay hardly anything for this wedding. Nutley too. Yeah, Nutley was fun. Alright, she got the kitchen clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wedding party now. Because anything else she cleans up will be fine. She can clean it as we go. So let's do... Um, throw party. Wedding party. And let me look at Ishmael. I want to make sure that we invite Ishmael's friend Adam. And Jade are his best friends. So I want to invite Adam and Jade. Alright, come on, Johnny. Get to it. It's wedding day. Yeah, they can try to earn money through tips. I would like to have them do that. I might have Ishmael do that at the wedding. Um, okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna invite Aaron Beaker because that's weird. But we are gonna invite Adam. Um uh, Chloe, he's friends with Chloe. We'll invite her. We'll invite, uh, does he know Jade? Yes. Oh, obviously he knows Jade. <laughs> obviously he knows Jade. I'm like, does he know Jade? Of course. 
Um, Jenny, Jill, Judy, Paul. Okay, we're going to invite all of them. Chloe, the aunt sister. We'll invite Gary Walton, who is his friend. And that's everybody. Okay. That's the guest list. And got, invite the girl he kissed for the drama. All right. The wedding guests are on their way, y'all. I'm so excited. And let's bring... I want to bring the bass. Come out, come here. Quit playing the bass because I want to bring it out here. I missed the bride. Oh, I'll just teleport her over. I didn't invite the bride. Wow. That's, uh, that's something. Maybe she'll come anyway. You know how sometimes people just show up. Um, but if she doesn't, I'll teleport her over. It's fine. Okay, stop playing the bass. Because I wanted to move it out here so he could play it. Oh, I can't put it under there. I can't put it under there! I feel like that's gonna get- There's really nowhere to put it out here, is there? Okay, never mind. Never mind! Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see who shows up and then we'll summon her over. Depending on who shows up. So there's Jenny, Jill, uh, J Oh, she's here. Caitlin's here. She came. Chloe, Paul, Jade. I don't know who that dude is. David Gibson just decided to show up out of nowhere. Okay, cool. Um, I don't see Adam. Is Adam- Oh, there's Adam. Gary Walton. Oh, wow. Look at, uh... Some of these people I haven't seen their formal wear before. Look at Judy's formal wear. Did we choose that for her? We must have. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! She's having her first kiss with David Gibson! She's all- look, her face is all covered pimples. Oh my god, we got a first kiss! With David Gibson! Who knew? I knew David Gibson would be good for somebody. Oh my god, they just fell in love? Holy crap, crap, Judy Smith just fell in love with David Gibson? Oh my god. Or they just got a crush. They just got a crush on each other. Look at her, look at her, she's got zits everywhere, but that's alright. <laughs> I love ACR too, that's so funny. Wow, good for you, Judy. I gotta write down in the spreadsheet that she kissed David Gibson. Hold on, let me go to Judy. So we remember that. Um, kissed, oops, kissed David Gibson. That way I remember when we get back there. Oh, so cute. I love it. They look cute together. I know I can't wait for their round again, too. Um, Jade is looking good in her dress. That's a really cute dress for her. There's Jenny. Jill, I don't know what the hell she's got going on. Jill, what is that? That doesn't even match whatsoever. <laughs> we need to get her a new formal outfit. That's sad. And, uh, there's Chloe's. I don't know what Caitlyn's gonna be wearing, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and go out here to the wedding mat and get the- get this wedding going. All right, um, not you, you get married and let's hope and pray she does not leave him at the altar. Oh my God. Jill is that weird aunt. I think, did she get, I think she did get pregnant or we think she did. Okay, well, nobody can get, everybody's trying to get out the door. This is- Step aside! Step aside! Oh look, the bridesmaids are gonna be Jade and Chloe. Step aside, people! This is- They are stuck. I'm gonna start moving people. Hey! Hey, Jeff! Did you just come over and knock over our trash can, you jerk? Alright, I might just have to start moving people. Um, around, cause this is not working. We're just gonna- I'm gonna move them out here. Move on- move on out! Move on out, people! Alright. There we go. No, come on! Get married! Okay, he quit getting married. Okay, let's do it. Let's try it again. Get married. 
Come on. Uh, Paul is over here talking to Caitlyn. He's like, you don't even have any makeup on. You need to get yourself together for the wedding. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, she's actually wearing a really pretty dress, so I'll take that. She's wearing a nice green dress. It looks really good on her. Oh, look, they're thinking about each other. And now our bridesmaids are Jade and Jill. Um, so thank you so much, Emma, for giving a gift sub to Wesley3. Thank you so much. So I want to take a screenshot of the wedding outside the house with no wall coverings. Um, oh, this is so cute. I don't, you know what? I can't even take a screenshot because I don't have my screenshot thing installed. Dang it. But that's okay. We'll use this for a thumbnail. Oh, so cute. Okay. Watch her bring in like 30k. Oh, thank you so much, Metaphysica, for the 40 month prime sub. Thank you so much. I think that might be my longest sub. I don't know. Somebody might have 41 months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, here we go, y'all. The tower in the back. It's Strange Town. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Oh, they looked at us. Who are they looking at? Oh, they're looking at the crowd. Oh, I love how everybody's coming out here. Even this jerk that knocked over our trash can decided he was going to come. I love how everybody crowds around. All right. I feel like they all looked at us. Oh, she, okay. He gave her a goose. Wait, why are they not getting married? Why did they not get married? What happened? It reset. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, that's why they look back, because the interaction failed. I see. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, and now the bridesmaids have changed once again. Now it's Chloe and Judy. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh no! He got left at the altar! Oh my god! Oh, Johnny, I'm so sorry! Oh my god, no! No! Oh, look at look, Chloe's coming to uh to comfort him. What why did you laugh at him, Chloe? Oh, poor Johnny! Oh my gosh! Well, look at his eyes! He he was possessed there for a second. Yeah, um, he feels very betrayed by Caitlyn, so I don't know, guys. I don't know what we should do. Let's see what's the relationship. It's gonna be bad. There's still always Trista. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna unlock Get Married to Caitlyn. I don't think that relationship's gonna work out. See? Ishmael knew. He didn't like Caitlyn. He knew this was gonna happen. He didn't want his dad to marry her. He knew it. Um, oh yeah, roman romance sims have a very high chance. Yes, they do. So, yeah, he has a couple other options here. Um, I think the, it's probably gonna be, well, Aaron's with somebody else. So, I think it's probably gonna have to be Trista he's gonna have to go for next. I think that might be his only option left. Good intuition at Ishmael. Yeah, I think he's gonna have to start dating Trista. All right. Well, I'm so sorry, Johnny. I guess we I guess we don't need the wedding cake after all. <laughs> I guess I don't think you can cut the cake after you get No, you cannot. All right, let's sell the cake. And that sucks. We didn't get any money. I was hoping to get some money from her. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Maybe we'll have enough money. Let's at least serve At least serve the spaghetti. They you can at least they came to the failed wedding. We can at least give them some food. That's true. You never know if it'll work between Aaron and Hank. That's true. But right now, Aaron's with somebody. The wedding party is a real dud. Yeah, it's not gonna get better. The viewers who voted for no were only 6%? Six, 6%? Oh my god, some people just cleaned up on points. 
Um, I've got a beg for gifts up from Spaghetti Yum. <laughs> if anybody feels generous. What about Tina? Who's Tina? Did I miss somebody? Oh, no, he has negative... Oh, he... Oh, Tina, Tina. Yeah, he has negative chemistry with Tina. He has one bolt with Renee Andrews. Um, but he has two bolts. He has one bolt with a couple of different people. But he has two bolts with Trista. And he already has a crush on her. So I feel like she would probably be his best bet. Okay, Ishmael, what are you doing? Oh, you're hanging out with David Gibson. Or no, you're not. You're just standing there. Your dad's hanging out with David Gibson. Go answer the phone. Yeah, he had one He had one bolt with Kendall. She did reject his per proposal the first time, and then she accepted it, and then she just didn't go through with it. it was, the whole thing was sad. <clears throat> uh, Ishmael just cried over his dad's public humiliation. Aw. He's talking to Amin on the phone. All right. The wedding party was a disaster, which, you know, we all knew it was going to be. Oh, why did the spaghetti went bad? The spaghetti spoiled. It's just a, it's just a disaster all around. Uh, thank you so much, Kate, for gifting a sub to Spaghetti Yum. Thank you very much. Okay, somebody needs to come pick up this trash can. Everything's spoiled. The trash is spoiled. The spaghetti is spoiled, and the and the wedding is spoiled. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would be really funny if Tank and Aaron didn't work out and she went and got with his high school nemesis, Tip the Witch. That would be funny. Alright, and why don't you come and help clean up? Are you still- what are you doing? Are you still on the phone? Oh. Um, let's go clean all this stinky spaghetti up. Oh, don't eat a plate of stinky spaghetti, Jenny! You're- she's gonna be sick. She's gonna be sick. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> yeah, this poor wedding party. But hey, one good thing came out of this. This little relationship between Judy and David. I love that they just got together at this wedding. That is so cute. And she got to have her first kiss. <clears throat> yeah, it can't be. If there's no marriage, it won't be a good party no matter what. Yeah. And uh, Johnny decided he was going to go take a bubble bath to drown away his pain. And what? Are, where are you at? Come answer the phone. Answer the phone. Boy, what a sad day, man. David Gibson is a townie. A strange town teen townie. So I guess he'll be going to college with our Sims. We're going to have a huge college round, I think. Who's he talking to? Uh, he's talking to Shannon Loner. Alright, Johnny. I'm so sorry for your heartbreak. He's gonna go play some bass. Um, he's also hungry. Let's take care of his needs to try to get everything. Oh, he's hot from the bath. Go use the bathroom and somebody needs to come clean up all this rotten spaghetti, okay? Oh, he's crying. I hear him crying. Aww. I'm so sorry, Johnny. He's been so unlucky. I just want him to be able to find a love again, you know? He's trying so hard. His first, his wife died in childbirth, and then he got with Caitlyn, and Caitlyn left him at the altar. Like, oh my god. Um, I don't really like making my own townies for the, for these hoods, for the base game hoods. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna bring in the uh, townies from uh, La Fiesta Tech, and there's plenty are the dormies. There's plenty of dormies. I like to use the Maxis uh, Sims in these hoods. He needs an Ophelia. Yeah, he, I think he did dodge a bullet with Caitlyn because she probably would have cheated on him, and who knows what? Because she's a romance sim. So anyway, we really have no money for a remodel, but maybe. Oh, Johnny. My heart breaks for you, my man. Um, why don't you have whatever's left over in there? I don't know. Oh, y'all. I don't know if I'll play the La Fiesta Tech playables um, 
Unless one of my Sims gets involved with one of them or something. I haven't decided how I'm going to go about that yet. We might do it. Uh, okay, you eat the spaghetti. And then Ishmael can eat the fruit parfait. Oh, he's doing his homework. Do homework, do homework, do homework. He has three homeworks to do. All right, I'm just going to let him work on that. He likes to do his homework outside on the sidewalk while wearing his formal suit. <laughs> Jilted Johnny. <laughs> Hello, Christy. Yeah, he's still got some of his old kid homework to do. I don't know if that's going to help him or not. Uh, Johnny, what are you doing? Crying in the kitchen. Did you eat your spaghetti? Did you cook spaghetti? Wait, why? Wait, what? All right, grab a... Oh, he did. I don't... I don't understand that. All right, put away leftovers. Was that like a group serving of spaghetti or did he cook spaghetti? I don't even know what happened there. Yeah, now he can he can do a new album about being dumped. I'm going to have him go sing. He's going to go write a song about how he got dumped, y'all. I'm going to give him a day to recover before we call Trista over. Um, we'll try maybe we'll do that tomorrow. And another thing I was going to do, that, like, these chairs, I think, are probably, like, super expensive. We could probably sell these. Yeah, these are 400 each and get some cheaper chairs and get a little cash. Um, let's see here. We'll get these, this chair, these chairs, which is, I think, the ones we had before. And I'm going to get rid of this table and get a different table. So we can do a little bit of remodeling. I think I need to focus on the wall coverings, though, before I do... I like that table. Uh, it doesn't really match though. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. Um, we can get the kind of cheap IKEA table for now. That's a little bit better. Um, just gives them a little bit more. Gives us a little bit more cash for the wall covering. Oh, they had stools before. I think that's fine. Okay, so let's see. I don't know what I had. Did I have it all brick? Did I have the- I don't think I had the house all brick. I think I just had the kitchen brick. Okay, the bathroom has a wall covering. So let's choose something for here. Oh yeah, the wedding mat. Thank you. Yes, we don't need the wedding mat anymore. That's for sure. That'll also- Okay, now we got like two grand. That should be enough, hopefully. Let's see here. It was red. Okay, let's see what we got. What do we have? What do we have in red? Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I like that. I think I'll make it a different color in here. Uh, what color do we want to make it? We'll make it black in here. Now, I don't like the crown molding if the rest of the house doesn't have crown molding. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Let me see. Let me keep looking. I want just a black with no mo no crown molding, but I don't think I have one. Oh no, not that. Yeah, soundproof the room. That's what I need to do. I don't. I need some. Sa I need some soundproof wall. I think I'll just do it white. Okay, um, so that's the bottom floor. Let's go upstairs and let me get, let me copy this red. And we will do, we'll do like the hallway in red here. And, and this room I'll just do, oh, this is what I should have done down there. I'm going to do this on that. Hold on. I'm going to do that. I like that for the music room. Okay, and then up here, I'm gonna do it for the TV room too. And the bathroom, let me grab whatever I had downstairs in the bathroom. We'll put that on the upper bathrooms as well. Okay, and then Johnny's room, I don't know what I had Johnny's room is as, but I think I'll just do it in red. Or no, we'll do it in black. Um, 
We'll do Johnny's room in black. And then we'll do... We'll do Ishmael. Ishmael likes blue and gray. So we'll do like a blue and gray kind of theme in there. What is that? No, that's that old dirty, old dirty, old dirty stuff. Um, I don't really know. I guess this is kind of like, uh, I don't know y'all. I'm still looking for the right blue. Okay, the blue that I want. Thank you so much, Maria YUD, for the 15 months uh, at tier one. Thank you very much. Maybe this blue? That's bright. That is bright blue. All of these are super bright. I don't, but they're either too bright or, too, or not bright enough. Hmm, let's check wallpapers. Okay, no, definitely not that. He definitely, yes, he does need a different bed. They both need different beds, for that matter. I kind of like that. That's kind of like blue and gray. I don't know. None of these are right. I will know it when I see it. Ooh, that, that. That's the one right there. Uh, thank you so much, JD89, for the 20 month prime sub. Yay! Thank you so much. Oh, and Maria says, Hi, Cindy. How's your day going? It's going great. Thank you. Okay, yes, let's get him a less expensive bed. I only got 480 for that. Hold up. Maybe I should have just kept it for 480. Let's see. How much is this bed? That's 270. And this one's three. We'll give him the rough and comfy bed for 360, maybe. That way we made a little bit of cash on it. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Steph B. Sims, for the two months at tier one. Thank you. I'm gonna give him this one, the rough and comfy bed, and let's try to find a bedding that kind of matches. That looks more purple than blue. I think it's blue. What do you guys think? I think that looks good. And I'm gonna get rid of that lamp. Or is there a blue version? Yeah, we'll just turn that to blue. That's blue, okay. Let's see if we can recolor the, the rug. Yeah, there we go. Now he's got his uh, radio in here. And I, that, that blind does not go in that window. That is crazy, I don't know what that was about. So let's uh, get another blind here. Okay, not that one either. What do we got? Do any of these fit? This one will, but that's, no, nah, that doesn't look good either. Uh, we could do a curtain instead of a blind. We could do like a shade. Automatic, or uh, we could do a shade, nah. I don't know what to do. I think I'll just do a curtain. If we can find one that uh, matches or that reasonably matches. That one doesn't really. Let me see what else we've got. I think I should have recolors of these. Oh, one thing I noticed when I was moving all of my custom content into the new folders is that some of the stuff it said the path file was too long and it was some recolors. Some of Michelle's recolors didn't kind of transfer over. Um, we'll just do that dark blue color. Is that dark blue or black? I can't tell. Let's make it daytime. Make it day! Let there be light. Yeah, that's dark blue. That looks fine. All right, and then he ha right now he has an alien poster, but I think we need to give him like a music poster. Let me see what I've got here. Anything here that I think would work for him? Not really. I, I wish I had more recolors of this poster. I really like it. Um, I know there's like a music poster. This, this one. Oh, that's movie posters. There's this one. Oops. We'll put that there and then this one. I feel like he would have a lot of posters just hanging on his wall. I feel like he's that kind of sim. Yeah, I like that. I would really like to give him his own little desk in here. Fifth from the left, third row. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, that one. Uh, let's put. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get them all on here. There we go. I like that. <laughs> Oh, he needs a dresser. That's right, he needs a dresser. Okay, let's give him a dresser. If we have the money for it. Um, I mean, we can always give him a cheap dresser. I would like to give him like a wardrobe. That's only 211 for this one. And give him the blue dresser. There we go. Perfect. I don't like- the lamp doesn't match the other blue in the room, though. I want to get rid of that lamp and give him another lamp. Oops, no, lighting. Um, let's get a different lamp. Let's see. Maybe one of these? One of these? Uh-oh. Those recolors didn't make it, I don't think. Yeah, we'll give him that lamp. Okay, and let me put the walls up and make sure, like, I didn't miss anything. This wall over here is, like, completely bare, but that's fine. <laughs> You can't see it anyway. So there's Ishmael's room. Oh yeah, centered door. That's a good- I don't know if I have one of this type of door that's centered. Let's see. <coughs> I don't think I do. Um, nope. Doesn't appear that I do. And I want the doors to match. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Or maybe I could just move it over one. Like, there. No, I don't like that either. I'm just gonna leave it there. I do- I like it there better, but I don't like it up against the- Oh, well, you can't- you won't be able to see it. It'll be fine. And then we could put, like, something else in this corner for him. I'm just spoiling him with stuff and spending all the money on him. <laughs> I was thinking of putting, like, a lamp over here. I don't have one that's in a good color. Uh, we could do this. I don't know. I don't know if I love- I don't know if I love that. Eh, why not? It's fine. A mirror! Oh, that's what he needs. A mirror. Yes, thank you. That's a better- that's a better idea. Uh, let's put a mirror. Mm, that one's so thick and chunky. We're gonna do the cheap one. And let me turn quarter tile placement on. And we'll put that there. I think that looks better for a teen boy's room anyway. Okay, great! His room is done. Ishmael's room is done. I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. I'm not crazy about the blue on the curtain, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Alright, and now um, for... Johnny's room, I think this bed is super expensive, so we can sell that bed and get him a, a little bit of a cheaper bed. Why do I keep going to tables for bed? I don't know. Um, so this one's only 405. We could even get him a little bit better. 522. Uh, what do we got here? We can get him this one right here, 657. And then for his bedding, he likes the color black, and maybe maybe I'll do a black and red for him. Let's see. I don't think this house is too edgy for the blue room because I feel like he would I feel like he would allow Ishmael to like decorate his room however he wanted to. Okay, I'm looking for no. Ooh, that not definitely not that one. Sometimes I can't tell what they look like in the tiny little thumbnail. Okay, no, that's like a kid's bed. <laughs> Ishmael looks like the alien version of Adam, I know. That's his uh, best friend. Oh, I gotta hydrate in a save game. All right, I see you guys. I'm gonna hydrate with coffee for big Kratos. And I think I'll just give him this regular like black bedding. Yeah, I like that. And let me turn quarter tile placement off. We'll put that there. I'm gonna give him- he needs a dresser as well. So we still have a thousand ten. Let's see what we can get for a dresser for him. 
Um, I'd also like to give him a wardrobe. Since I don't have closets. I think I'll give him this one. But we'll do it on this wall. And quarter tile placement. So we'll center it against that wall. Um, and that will be his wardrobe. I think I'll put... I'm gonna give him a nightstand too. And I'm gonna give him a mirror. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if we can afford that. To put a mirror like right here. And then a little nightstand. And they'll still have a little bit of money left over. Um... Maybe just this little bedside table like that. And put that there. Okay, and that's gonna have to work for now. That's gonna have to work for the time being. Oh, we didn't do the outside of the house. Oh my God, I just realized we didn't do the outside of the house. We might have to wait for Johnny to go to work another day before we do the outside of the house. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna have to remain unfinished for the time. But... Uh, after Johnny goes to work, once he gets a promotion, we should have enough. So, it looks like he has everything he needs to get promoted. He makes 55 simoleons. Are you just kidding me? That- that sucks! Against all odds, we did it! Saving for stucco. Oh, and he's down here singing his heart out. Yeah, he's singing his little heart out. What's Ishmael doing? I was still working on his homework, okay. I'm gonna let him finish this homework assignment and then I'm gonna stop him. Because <clears throat> it's already 9 o'clock. Did he finish? Okay. That's enough homework. You did enough homework. And your needs are getting low. So get in here. Use the bathroom. And get yourself some spaghetti for dinner. Get that heartbreak out, city. Oh yeah, save game. Thank you very much. Save game. So we don't ever have to do that again. They are cash poor, but they are house rich. They got a nice house. <laughs> I, I would live in this house. Three full bathrooms? They don't even need three full bathrooms. <clears throat> yeah, I guess if it came down to it, we could sell some of the bathroom stuff upstairs. I love Johnny's crooning, yeah. Caitlin's long gone. She is no longer part of this equation. Okay, uh, you, oh, you're going to get your dinner, okay. You're going to get your dinner, he needs to have fun, but he's got to go to bed. Well, we could have a roommate for money, but I don't want to. Because <coughs> then we'd have to give up one of their rooms. But I guess if it came down to it, we could. We could always, uh... Move the TV. We can always make the TV room a, a, rent, a rent out room. Oh yeah, a railing on the stairs. That's a good point. I completely um, overlooked that. There we go. That stair doesn't really match that well. Is that a recolorable one? No. I'll redo the stairs eventually, too. He's gonna date- I think who he's gonna date next is Trista. Um, because he has a crush on her, he has two bolts with her, they're friends. So yeah, I think she's the next best. He can't date Aaron because she's with somebody right now. Minerpy. Okay, that's enough Minerpy. Get it. That's enough whip wap wom minerpy. Get upstairs and go to sleep in your new bed. <clears throat> He's like, no, I must sing more. Sing my sing about my broken heart. Yeah, limited choices in Strange Town. Yes. Sweet home Belladonna. <laughs> Trista Shaw picked my heart up off the floor. <laughs> okay, uh, Ishmael wants to watch TV a little bit. Before he goes to bed. That's cool. He was good and did all of his homework. So that's fine. I'm gonna let him watch a little TV. But it's get it's And it's Saturday night. He doesn't have to go anywhere tomorrow. He can stay up all night if he wants. He's a teenage boy. It's fine. Uh, but anyway. So it's like 1230. I'm gonna have him go to bed now. And 
so as far as Ishmael goes, we don't really have any, we didn't have any potential. Oh, Harper Curious. Oh, but that's right, they're related. Dang it. It doesn't show that they're related. I think if the game doesn't show they're related, it could be okay. What do you guys think? They have two bolts. No? He can date the male girl. He doesn't like Cameron. It's Strange Town! Um, uh, I thought I had a mod that showed extended family. He has nobody. He has no other options. He's gonna have to, he's a romance him. He's gonna have to wait till, he's gonna have to wait till he goes to college, unfortunately. Happy Easter, Dreamy the, the, the Zelda nerd. I couldn't read your name. Wait, what are you doing, Johnny? You're waking up at three in the morning? You want to play bass. You don't want to play piano. Go play bass. He had some limited gene pool to begin with. <laughs> His grandma and her father are siblings. Okay, that is a little bit weird. I'll give you that. It's a little bit weird. Johnny wants to have a good reputation. And I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. It's a gene puddle. <laughs> That's right, Laura. Yeah, that's true, Gemstone. Vote. Vote in the poll and let me know, guys. I'll go with whatever you vote. If the game doesn't show it's related, could they date? Yes or no? So, no is winning. Make sure you vote. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's a- Oh, yes! Yes! Rambo is digging a hole in the yard. We go dig for treasure. We're gonna go dig for treasure. Hurry up and dig that hole, buddy. Dig that hole and dig it good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go- No, no, come here. Come here. Dig for treasure. So if there's a hole dug in the yard, I allow my sims to dig in it for treasure. One time, they get one shot. They get one shot. You can't vote? Why not? Can some people not vote? Um, yes is winning now. Yes is winning. I mean, honestly, if I was just playing the game, like, personally, I would- If the game doesn't show relation, I would do it. <clears throat> oh, voting is broken on mobile right now. Oh, no. Did you dig for treasure like I told you to? Get over here. Get out of the way, Rambo. Oh, no, don't turn Johnny into a werewolf, please. I think you have to befriend him for that. Uh, secondhand said it worked for them on mobile. I, for some people, it's not working. I don't know why. Okay, yes is winning. What'd you get, Johnny? What'd you get? What'd you find? Oh! He got, oh, he got a, um, he got a map. So now, should I sell the map or should we keep it and take him to Tweaky Island when he finally gets married? I think he should keep the map. Okay, yes one. They can date. Yes one. Um, I think we should t keep the map and he can go to Tweaky Island. We can send him on an adventure because we haven't been on a vacation in a long time. Somebody's calling me. No. Can't answer. I can't answer. I'm busy. Uh, yeah. We're gonna keep that. So. What do you, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? And how many days do we have left here? We have, this is our last day with this family. Um, okay, so go use the bathroom. Take a shower. We're gonna do your, do your stuff. He doesn't have to go to work today either. He doesn't go to work until tomorrow. So they're not gonna have any money for a little bit. Could he meet someone on vacation today? That's a good point. He could. Um, go to Tweaky, get the voodoo doll, and curse Caitlyn. He wants to talk about hobby. It's Trista time! Did you just blow your nose, Johnny? I don't know why.
why they walk all the way around. Why don't you just walk right through here to the door? That's weird. They always do that. You still ship Johnny and Aaron even if she's taken, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I guess today we'll invite Trista over and see how that goes. Why didn't you go to the bathroom? And why don't you go cook some breakfast? Or you know what? Just eat cold spaghetti. I feel like that's what you would do. I feel like you would eat cold spaghetti. Oh, there's some more fruit parfait in there. <clears throat> well, I can't delete... Oh yeah, I can delete this door. That's a good point. We don't need that extra door right there. We really don't. Um, let's delete that door. Give us some more money. But I feel like I need to put something there. Like, it just feels like... I think I'm gonna put a lamp there. We're gonna put a lamp right there. To light the hall... Light up the hallway! Oops. Okay, get your fruit parfait. And do I have walls up? Yes. Fill that hole. Do the maids fill holes? No, the gardener. The gardener does, right? <clears throat> yeah, Johnny's too old. Kendall wouldn't like him. Johnny has the day off today. Let's check on Ishmael. Oh, he's going to check out the the lamp. What does he want to do? He wants to do his homework. Wow, he's so good. Um. Okay, go do your homework then. Where is it? It's out here on the out here on the ground. Go do your homework. He's like, I just woke up on Sunday morning at 7 a.m. as a teenage boy, and what do I want to do? Go outside and do my homework, that's what. There's Crystal. <clears throat> you think the maids do it? Oh, maids fill holes. <laughs> and that is not a euphem euphemism. I thought they did. Okay, Johnny, uh, what are you up to? Oh, you know what we're up to? We're gonna call Trista over, and I don't- She might be at work today. He's still very angry about what happened, and I don't blame him. He got jilted. He got played. Uh, we're gonna call a sim. We're gonna call Trista. <clears throat> he can date Genesis. That's true, the maid. Uh, we can see how he feels about her when she comes over. Where's Trista? Trista, Trista. There you are. Okay, we're gonna invite her over. What about Melba? I'm sure he probably could get with Melba. No, your can your friend come too? Should I say yes? I'll just say yes. Bring your friend, that's fine. I don't know who she's gonna bring over. And I don't remember... I gotta see what Trista's wearing. I don't remember. Oh, I need to recolor that. Hold up. Hold up. I need to recolor that. Can I recolor the gate? It won't let me recolor... Oh. Is that the right black? I don't think so. Yeah. We're running out of money! You hope her friend is a hot lady, I know. Alright, Trista, where are you? Where are you? Johnny's looking out the window for you! I feel like he's looking out the window for her. He is! He's waiting for her to come, that's so cute! Uh, there she is. Okay, that's what she's wearing. Is that her? That looks like a work outfit. Okay, he's gonna come out and greet her. I think he's so cute, he's looking out the window. Oh yeah, the mailbox. We'll move it to right there. Um, okay, let's go greet Trista. I'm pretty sure that's her work outfit. She is really cute. Look how cute she is. More redheads, redheaded sims. Yes, hello Quentin, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, she, the Quentin's who she brought. Oh, hello. Um, greet Quentin, too. You might as well make a new friend while we're at it. Hello. Okay, and let's... She, he wants to talk about his hobby, so he's gonna talk to Trista about his music, about the new song he's been writing about his heartbreak. Alright. <laughs> Ishmael will be judging over there. Yes, he will. He will judge if she's good enough for his father. Oh, she likes music too. That's a good sign. Um, he wants to be friends with David, be friends with Quentin. He has no more wants towards Trista. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing, I guess. Do their AC. Oh, be hit on. She's gonna hit on him. Did she fire hearts for the kid? I thought I missed- I thought I- I thought I saw that.
that, but I thought that had to be wrong. That's weird. That's really weird. She's a romance sim? Oh my god. He just fell in love with her. He just fell in love with her, so... Yep. He really likes romance sims. I guess he just likes getting his heart broken. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh my god. That's weird. She's looking at- she- I don't know. I don't know what to say. He gave her a goose. He's gonna get his heart breaking, broken again. No, did we- I think we- No, he does not have a secondary aspiration. I don't- I'm not doing secondary aspirations because they're too strong, I think. She can be- she'll be his rebound, yeah. Oh, she just- she just fell in love with him. Aww. Well, they're in love. I don't know. He has no more wants towards her. He just wants to be friends with Quentin. Where'd you go, Quentin? Where are you in my house? I know you're in my house somewhere. Oh, you're up here watching TV. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Quentin. I guess. Don't badmouth him. Maybe we can at least get rid of that want so he'll roll a want for Trista. Yeah, she can give him a child at least, because Johnny can still have one more child. I would love for him to have a girl. Uh, wait. Come talk to Quentin. Where are you going? Let me check on Ishmael. His needs are going down pretty fast when he's over there doing his homework. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I see you! I see you, Harper! Hold up! Get over here and talk to Harper! You're... First cousin twice removed? I don't know. I can't remember it. Second cousin once removed? Hello. Uh, we've got two bolts together. Oh. Okay, they're not getting along very well. They're both romance, so they don't care, yeah. I mean, he could at least have his first kiss with his first cousin. <laughs> So he can have his first kiss with his second cousin first removed. They don't have to get married and breed. Oh, there's a uh, Marion. Okay, well, let's. Oops. Oh, you. Oh, family kiss. Okay, no, that's weird. No, no. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Okay, Trista. What are you doing? You're play having a water balloon flight water balloon fight with Trista? <laughs> this is a Cindy stream. Of course they have to breed. But I'm I'm thinking he might find somebody. Well, he's a romance sim, so he's never gonna settle down. He's gonna go through a lot of girlfriends. So I'm thinking that he might find somebody in call he'll find a lot of girls in college, I'm sure he's gonna be going through the dormies. I know. I don't know what's happening. Where is Johnny? Where, Johnny, are you taking a nap? Where Trista's leaving, Johnny. Trista's leaving. Okay, well, she's she's done here. Um, but he still wants to be friends with Quentin, so I'm gonna have him come and let's have them uh, hang out so they can become friends. Ishmael's gonna find Trista in college. Oh yeah, we were gonna have him check out Genesis. Hold on. Because it would make sense. Oh, no. Wait. Trista's still here? What'd she do? Oh, she came in the back door. I thought she was leaving. Um, Let's have him check her out. Um, Nope. He doesn't really have any attraction to her. Uh, but, oh, now he wants to be BFFs with Trista. So let's have him go talk to her some more. Um, I guess go talk about music and dance. She seemed to like it when he talked about music and dance. He really, he really likes Trista. Strange Town needs a bigger jail. I've got to hydrate. I'll hydrate. Hydrate myself with some coffee today. Um, there is a quirk with the extended family mod where it counts them as family, even though it doesn't show the family symbol. Yeah, th maybe that's what it is because they were able to. Sh the only kiss he could do was family kiss. So, he's just got the hots for his cousin, but that's not gonna go anywhere. He wants to meet someone new! Where's a- what's his face? Did he leave? Oh my god, Trista! That is creepy and weird! Stop it! 
Did you see her? Trista's, uh, Trista's out for Ishmael. He's a kid. Oh my God, Johnny, get out here and talk to Trista. You gotta, you gotta get her away. Go give her a goose. Nah, she's not going to jail for that. She'd only go to jail if she like made a move on him. Yeah, it's the ACR teen adult interactions, which I should probably no. Actually, I th I decided to leave it on because it's kind of it adds a little drama. All right, now he's talking to uh, Quentin again. He wants to be friends with Quentin. They're getting close. And what are you guys doing? Oh, he's going to play bass. She's going to come watch him play bass. Or not. No, she's going to play the bass. Okay. He's like, hey, you want to play my bass? All right, well, she didn't get very far, did she? Oh my gosh, Ishmael's going to sing. I don't think I've ever heard him sing. Not bad. Trista! Leave him alone! Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think Trista's gonna work out because she's constantly going after the kid, the son. <sighs> I think he, I'm pretty sure he has a different voice than his dad. Go tell her a dirty joke. Get her out of there. It's very weird. Get in the bin, Trista. Yeah, Strange Town is becoming a very tangled web because you guys, you gotta understand, this is our fifth round. So, it's getting more and more difficult where everybody's starting to be related. So, we really need to have a college round so we can bring in some new blood from the dormies. But that's not going to be till the end of this round. It's going to be a while. Let's see. We are right now on um, Johnny and Ishmael. So, this is our last day with them. And then we're going to be moving on to the Smith family, Paul, Jenny, Jill, Ju Judy, and Jade. Then we're going to play Buzz and Kristen and Floyd. And are they having a water balloon fight, fight out there? And there's Gabby. And then we're going to play Buck Grunt, who now runs the animal shelter. And so that's going to be fun to play, the, the Strange Town Animal Shelter. We'll try to improve it if we can get any money in the, for the town. And then we have um, AJ and Lola. Then Chloe and her two twins, then Rip Grunt, then Barb and Margaret, then Tank and Aaron, then Ta Tina and Willis, then Ger Gerard Landry, and then University. Holy crap. We have so many Sims. Yeah, we can definitely pair up more more people. when they I just wait for them to naturally become part of the story, just like Barb and Margaret did. And I'm trying not to add too many new families because we already have so many to get through. She, Harper's just like, yeah, that's great. That's great. I'm watching you. Fantastic. Yeah, we should do Strange Town Saturday and Sunday. I agree. <laughs> we got to get that fresh blood in there. <clears throat> I'll probably next week I'll probably do Strange Town Strange Town both days too. Okay, enough Minerpe. Alright, stop that. You're about to pee your pants. Go pee. Go pee. And get yourself some spaghetti. I think there's still some left in the fridge. I don't know where Johnny went. Johnny, where are you? Oh, he befa he became friends with Quentin. Awesome. So he's got a new friend. That's nice. Always good to have new, ha good to have more friends, especially for his career. <coughs> give give you the strange town weekend that you all want and deserve. Yeah, all the mods are back in. Yeah. Who's going to college next round? Well, I the only ones I know for sure right now are Tycho and Don. Tycho and Don are going, and then I'm not sure who else yet. So, definitely, Samuel did not go. Gabby and Harper did not go. Ishmael obviously did not go. Um, I'm not sure. Judy and Jade might be going. I don't, I'm not sure. They, or they might, they might be, like, one day too young. Mm. Judy, Jade, Floyd. And... 
That I think that would be it. I think the po- it would be the possibility of Judy, Jade, and Floyd, maybe. So actually, we won't have a huge college round, but that's okay. They can all still get married to dormies and and move back, and we'll still have we'll still have fresh blood. The college round is gonna be chaos with those two. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of romance sims. It's gonna be something. Test of time sims cry softly. <laughs> They're stuck forever. All right, why do you want to be friends with David Gibson? Johnny, I don't know, okay. Oh my God, what the heck? Why did Harper just puke everywhere? What, she eat spoiled food? I don't know why she just threw up everywhere. Yeah, I'm still playing Sims 4 Pleasant View. It's just, I haven't had a chance to update my mods because I just got my computer going uh, yesterday morning. So I haven't had a chance to update the mods yet to play it. She must have eaten the spaghetti and it made her sick. All right, Johnny, get off your get off the base and come and answer the phone. She's not pregnant. She hasn't. She's a teen. I don't do teen pregnancies in my game. And she also has. Ne she hasn't even had her first kiss yet. I think she had some spoiled spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, is John is Ishmael available to talk? Yes, he is. Oh, they're talking about music. And Johnny, I think you need to go cook some more food because I don't think you guys have anything else in the house. And it's 542. So he's going to go make some goopy carbonara. He's going to go make some goopy carbonara tonight. A different type of pasta. I'll be 90 by the time I finish the test of time. Oh, definitely. I, it'll probably take me like 10 years. I'm not kidding. 20 maybe. <laughs> you won't even be able to play Sims 2 anymore. <laughs> Spaghetti or embryo. <laughs> yeah, they are cousins. She's still getting sick, man. I don't know. Sorry, Harper. Um, are there any other Sim streamers doing Test of Time Challenge? I don't know. I don't really watch any Sims content, so I don't know. Maybe somebody in chat can tell you. Harper. Harper's gonna stay over for dinner. That's fine. And Johnny's over here making that goopy carb. Goopy, goopy, carbs covered in goop. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, Harper's coming to eat. And Ishmael, you gotta get off the phone. Dinner's ready. Gotta get off the phone. And come eat. You know what I want to do is add, I'm gonna move this plant like over here and I'm gonna put another chair right here that way they can have a guest and they can both eat and have a guest over for dinner carby goop yeah <laughs> I'm so invested in the strange town too this is oh she's going to puke again maybe she has the flu or something hope she doesn't die um, okay, let's send her home because she needs to. She's sick. She needs to go home. Say goodbye. Oh, you're doing your homework. Okay, Johnny will do it. Um, say goodbye. And did you not eat? He did. Oh, he did. He wasn't even hungry anyway. That's fine. Uh, jo then Johnny's gonna send Harper home, and then he's gonna put away these leftovers. He's gonna clean up her gross leftovers. Clean. No, don't lick that clean. Clean it up and then put away the leftover goopy carbonara. I hope she doesn't have the flu, but I sent her home. I hope she just ate some spoiled spaghetti. I told you not to lick that clean, Johnny. That was gross. He did it anyway. He was like, screw that. I'm licking it clean. She's preg- preget with spaghetti. <laughs> I don't know. We don't need any more flop house flu. Here, clean this up. Clean that up. And then you can go take a shower. Uh, I'm gonna sit- is this toilet- oh my god. You gotta unclog this toilet and clean it. That is- well, you don't have to clean it. Just unclog it. The maid can clean it. And then- I wish the maid would unclog toilets. That'd be nice. Then go use this and take a shower. And then I'll see. I'll see what you're up to after that. Actually, don't take a shower. Take a bath. You need comfort. And Ishmael did, did all of his homework this weekend. I'm so proud of him. He wants to be best friends with a meme. 
He wants to learn lifelong happiness. Okay. Um, I guess you could just start learning lifelong happiness. Do they have a bookshelf? I don't even think they have a bookshelf, do they? Um, no, they do not. I could put a bookshelf up here in the TV room. Oh, we can't afford a bookshelf. We only have 200 bucks. Never mind. All right, just play your bass. <laughs> don't we all want to learn lifelong happiness? Yes. Chair didn't scoot in? Oh, maybe I had it. I think I have it off. Yeah, I have it off. There we go. Okay, Johnny has gained a point of mechanical skill from repairing the better bath toilet. Yay! And he just left it all gross and pukey. Uh, can they learn it on the computer? I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, study badges. Study skills. No, it doesn't look like it. Unless somebody knows if it's under something else. I don't think so. Business? No. Mm-mm. Hmm. We do not need that in Strange Town. No, we don't. All right. So it's 930. You got to go to school tomorrow. So I'm going to have you stop playing and go eat because you never even ate earlier. Go eat your dinner and then you can go to bed too. And Johnny, um, you can also go to bed because you've got to go to work tomorrow. And hopefully he'll get promoted, but I don't think we'll be playing him because it's going to change. It's going to be time to change households. Okay, get yourself some goopy carb. That's what you need right before you go to bed. Just a belly full of carbs. <laughs> Spaghetti forget with twins. Uh oh, spaghetti! <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I found the I found the skills on the computer, but um it didn't have the like lifelong happiness and stuff. Or is that where they are? Hold on, let me check again. Wait, where is it? Yeah, study skills, yeah. But it doesn't have the lifelong happiness and stuff. So We'll have to wait till they can afford a bookshelf. Which, I mean, I could- I did have, a, like, a lot of decor and stuff I could sell, but... I don't do teen pregnancy in my game, though. My sims have enough problems without having to deal with teen, teen pregnancy with the way I play. Alright, time for bed, Ishmael. Go to sleep. All right. <laughs> Strange Town would be overpopulated. Yeah, everybody would have all their kids before they were even adults. And then, because I like to, you know, then they wouldn't even, it wouldn't be fun anymore because we'd just be playing them. They wouldn't have any more children. Lucy Bird was your first teen to get pregnant. Wow. Oh, no, that's okay, Megaroni. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we were trying to find the lifelong happiness. Alright, let me save. Oh, it's okay, so it changed. So we are done with this household, y'all. Um, let me mark that on the spreadsheet. We are done. And... Yeah. Oh, I never started a bank account for Ishmael. I, I gotta do that before he goes to college, at least. Um, they don't have enough money right now for him to do it anyway. So next, we are moving on to the Beaker family. So let's go check out what's going on over there. We have not been to that family in a long time. Yeah, the Bird family all look the same, yeah. Angela Pleasant was your first teen mom. Lucy always has a lot of kids in my game. But I'm, I don't ever do te teen pregnancy. Okay, Beakers. Where are you? Oh, here you are. So let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, did we have Johnny pay taxes? We did not have Johnny pay taxes. Oh no. Well, I guess we're gonna have to just, he's gonna pay his taxes late and he's not gonna be able to afford them. 
Uh, I completely forgot. 50,097 is their net worth. Let's see. Let's calculate it. So, 5,000 is how much he would owe. And then he has... So, he has a... Oh my god, I just realized that I lost all of my notes on my flash note. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to back that up. All of my Sims notes on my flash note are gone. Ah, oh, crap. That sucks. I did not back that up. And I had so many notes there. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna have to make a new flash note with new notes. That's been like five years of notes, too. I just realized I lost. Dang it. Um, okay, so we're going to do taxes. So he's going to get a 1,000 deduction for home ownership. He is not married. He's going to get a 500 deduction for his child. And that's it. He owes $3,500. He owes $3,500. Smith around four... Um, so what we're going to have to do is take out a loan. So, yeah. Let's, uh, the sound alert's not working? That's weird. I don't, it was working earlier, wasn't it? <clears throat> I, sometimes the sound alerts do that and I have no idea why. It must be a Twitch thing. Oh wait, wrong household. Wrong household. Go in here. He's gonna have to take out a loan to pay his taxes. Have they have they been working, Hendrick? Or not at all this stream? I tune them out because I hear them so often, so I just don't even notice them anymore. Alright, so we gotta take care of this business. Um uh, yeah, time to get to work, Ishmael. We're in debt. So we're gonna have to get the loan jar out. And... Where's my loan jar? Okay. And I'm gonna get... Johnny. Johnny, wake up at 4.30 in the morning, please. Come down here and take out... He's, he's up at 4.30 in the morning because he's stressed about money now. So we're gonna borrow... 2500 and we're gonna borrow another 1000 Okay, he's borrowed it, and then he's gonna go and get rid of it to pay his taxes. And I have to put this in the spreadsheet. Uh, bank on- where's bank online? Donate money. 3,000. Donate money. 500. But hey, that helps out the town, because the town just got $3,500. So now the town is only 15000 249 simoleons in debt. Alright. We used to be 16,344, so we're making some progress. Johnny Smith bailing out the state. He had to take a loan to bail him out. Uh, you think the ones you pay with bits may work, but not the ones with channel points. That was happening before. Um, I got a bag for gifts up from Pinkie Pie 1992, if anybody feels generous in the chat. Okay, so now I have to write down in the spreadsheet. Did you just break your computer and we can't afford to have anybody fix it? Okay, whatever. So now I'm going to write down in the spreadsheet that uh, Johnny took out a loan, has a loan, has a tax loan for 3500 So we're doing taxes on Tuesdays. So I got to remember for the beakers to pay theirs as well. Don't let me forget. All right, let's save. Tax Tuesday. That's how we're going to remember it. Yeah, Johnny's really got to get to work at his journalism career and get get a get a promotion. And he's got to he needs to get married. We need a second income in this house. He can't afford the taxes on this house. Not with his job. Uh Maria, I do my taxes um I have it all on my website if you go, hold on, I'll just put it in the chat right now for you. But anybody who's watching this back on YouTube, if you go to PleasantSims.com, go to Sims 2 Gameplay Rules, and uh, then you then it's there under Taxes. There's the link right there in the chat, though, Maria, for you. And that explains all how I, my whole tax system, my whole finance system. 
I also have a YouTube video on it. Yeah, I do. Alright, let's go back out to the neighborhood. Um... You're welcome. Yeah, his taxes were so much, even his computer couldn't handle it. His computer was like, that's too much. We're dead. Okay, now let's go to the beakers. And now, I don't know if I've updated my tax thing for, for how I do... Yes, I did. It does say taxes are used to pay for new community lots and improvements to existing community lots. Yeah. I did put, if there aren't enough funds, a new lot cannot be built until until enough taxes are collect, collected to cover the cost. But I think I need to update that because I'm okay now with letting the town go into debt. Like we did with the jail because we had to. But I would, I, but I would only do that for necessary facilities, not, not things like like restaurants and stuff okay so bella subject is here she's no longer bella goth she's bella subject and she has her little alien baby gerald all right and the beakers are keeping bella w down here where they used to keep nervous so nervous escaped and then they captured Bella because Bella had no memory. She didn't even know how she got to Strange Town. So they took advantage of that situation and they are keeping her down here in the dungeon and doing experiments on her. And one of the experiments that they did on her was to have her have an alien baby. So that's where we got little Gerald from. And Bella will go back to her life someday. I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have to find out as we play. And as you can see, she does not have a good life. Um, she did... So Gerard, actually, she got a crush on her. But now I think Gerard is with somebody else. Isn't Didn't Gerard and Tina get together? She also has, a, she also has one friend, Jessica A. Body. But I don't think anybody really knows she's over here. She's got bolts with the grunt boys. I'm just looking through her. Oh, she does not like Barb for some reason. Maybe Gerard will grow up and help his mom escape. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the dungeon. We've got alien babies. Give Bella the prisoner tag so she won't. The prisoner tag does not work for me for some reason. I've tried giving it to her and it, she still shows up. It, I don't know why it doesn't work for me. It's never worked for me. Maybe I don't have like something I should have downloaded with it or something. I don't know. But what I usually do is if I see her on a lot, I'll just ban her specifically from that lot. And eventually she'll be banned from everywhere. Oh, and yes, and Gerard had, had kids with Chloe. Yes. <laughs> Replace Bella with Caitlyn, yeah. It doesn't work for you either on her own. I don't know. Maybe it's a mod conflict. It could be. All right, so we got Loki here. Loki wants to become a werewolf. Oh, I forgot about that. Loki wants to become a werewolf. And I feel like he's definitely the kind of Sim who would totally do that. So we're going to work on that for him. Um, yeah, Gerald. Baby Gerald. I still want to try to make a spreadsheet that we can use for future babies. And I think I'm going to work on that this week and see if I can get something going. Because I missed the spreadsheet. It was so much fun to have you guys uh, submit the names and stuff. So yeah, Loki wants to become a werewolf right now. He is at work and he works until uh, 7 p.m. And then uh, Cersei, she is also at work. She's a general practitioner in the medical career and she works until 6 p.m. She wants to earn, t she wants to earn 10,000 simoleons. They don't have any money. I was going to have them donate. They don't even have any money. Let me check the spreadsheet to see if they have anything. They have nothing. They cannot, they cannot donate to the town. They have no money. Uh, hello, Robin. Okay, so, uh, Cersei here is at work. What does she want to do? Gain a skill point? I'm going to lock that in, too, because that will help her to get a promotion, because God knows they need some money. And then they have two children. Cersei and Loki have two children. So, obviously, Adam. Oh, Adam wants to go out with Ishmael. Oh, we're going to lock that in for him. Um, and Adam is um, actually in a relationship with Samuel Subject, who is um, Nervous Subject and Pascal Curious's adopted son. Taxes on Tuesday. Taxes on Tuesday. They have funds in the Caymans. 
Um, I don't have that they have anything in their bank account on the spreadsheet. I'll check the computer. So yeah, he's in a relationship with Samuel. And he's friends, best friends with Ishmael. And he, he knows Bella pretty well. And then his uh, personality is he is nothing like his parents. He is super nice and super outgoing. And he I don't think he likes what his parents are doing. And perhaps he could even help Bella to escape because I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna stand for this. And then we have little Ceres, which is his little sister. <clears throat> and she, on the other hand, I believe her personality is very different. No, she's like she's halfway nice. She's super active. She's got, she's got more nice points. She's got six nice points. So, neither of their kids are really like them. Oh, they're going to pay so much in taxes, I know. Um, and so, Sari, she's going to become a, she will become a teen during this round. So, we'll have another teen that's not related to any of the curious kids. So, we'll have another female teenager uh, once she ages up in two days. And then I don't know when Gerald's going to age up to a toddler. Um, and I'm just checking in on her. So she's friends with Floyd. And she's also friends with Judy. She is not even friends with her brother, though. She has a really good relationship with her mom and dad. And Adam has a really good relationship with his mom and dad, too. But I still don't think he's going to, like, stand for this. Stand for this shit. Yeah. Two of the weirdest people in this town managed to have two halfway normal children. Yeah, watch her be gay. Probably. And what is she going to be? Let's see. She is going to be... She's a Virgo. So what do I do for Virgo? I recently changed. So for Virgo, knowledge. She's going to be a knowledge sim. Yeah. Knowledge. And what is he? He is also a knowledge sim. Yeah. Two knowledge sims. I love it. We need more knowledge sims. I feel like all we have are romance in this town. So we probably won't get very far with this family today because the stream's going to be over in a few minutes. But we'll just... Um, oh! PT11. We got 200 civilians for child support. That's going to help. Although Bella's sure not going to get any of it. We do need more family sims. We don't have very many family sims. Samuel Subject is a family sim. And he's the only one I can think of. We do need more family sims. So there's Ayana, our, our convict maid. And Bella, during the day, whilst uh, Loki and Cersei are at work during the day, Bella, Bella has free reign of the house, but she can't leave. And actually, I think we should look. Oh, there are no doors. I hate that there are no doors on this house. Wait, hold on. We should put doors on the house and then we should lock the door so Bella can't get out. That's not me doing that. That is the beakers, okay? The, the no, the, this is just bizarre to me. We're, I'm getting rid of that shit. Uh, we're getting, we're doing, we're doing doors. Lock the arches. <laughs> So what I might do is just a door like this. Let's get it, it like in this red color. We'll do that. How's that look? Let me put the walls up. Okay, it's not the right color. Um, no, let me find the right color here. Where's that orangey color? None of, none of the colors are right, so we're just going to go with the red. And maybe eventually I'll recolor all the other stuff that red color, too. <clears throat> so now I'm going to lock this. Oops. Lock. Can I lock for a specific sim? Oh, I can't lock it. I thought you could lock for a specific sim. That must be in Sims 4. I, I, she's part of the household, so household only will not work. Is there a mod where you can lock for a specific sim? <laughs> Bulldoze the whole thing. Back door is also an arch, which is ridiculous. Um, I'll have to find a mod for that, if there is one. 
If anybody knows of one, let me know. There is? Okay. I know there- I know I can do it in Sims 4. But I thought- I, I guess I forgot you couldn't do it in Sims 2. Okay, we're gonna put this- this here. <coughs> Why in the castle is this house? I don't know. The second floor- where's the arch? Oh, it's so ridiculous. I don't like the arches. Alright, we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna put that there. Okay, are there any more arches that we need to take care of? I think that's it. Okay. Good. I know with all the sketchy things going in that house, you would think they would invest in some doors. Exactly. So they need to keep this locked down. Um, and then there's arches. That's okay about the arches inside. Oh, is that an arch into the kids room? All right, no, we're not gonna do an arch into the kids' room. That's weird too. No, um, this is the this is the girls' room, and there is like a hallway. I I don't feel like it should be open to the parents' room either. <sighs> this house needs some help, y'all. It really does. We're not gonna focus too much on it now, but I'm gonna do something about this. I think what I'm gonna do is make. <sighs> I think what I'll do is move the bathroom back against this wall and then make a little hallway here that goes out into this hallway so that you don't have to go through the kids room or outside to get into the master bedroom because that's just kind of stupid to me. <laughs> yeah. That you can get to it if you go outside. Oh no, there's not even a Yeah. You'd have to go outside and all the way around or you have to go through her room and that just doesn't make sense or maybe I'll just uh, make her room end here or something. We'll figure that out. We got to fix that. And then this is Adam's room, <coughs> which I really went all out and decorated for him when he was a kid. We did the whole like uh, space science theme. Oh, thank you so much, Kate, for gifting a sub to Pinkie Pie 1992. So yeah, we will fix that. I'll probably fix that in the next stream. And let's see. Down here, I'm okay with the arch here. Um, yeah, I'm all right with this. And so what I did though, is this is a mysterious bookcase door that goes into the lab. So only household members can go in there. Wait, isn't that the mysterious bookshelf door? Isn't it? Oh yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, you have to choose the mysterious mystery, mysterious mystery novel. So yeah, I did that so that that kind of covers up their, sh their shady lab stuff in here. Uh, I know, you can tell who my favorite beaker child is. Look at Adam's room and look at Sarah. <laughs> Look at Sari's room. No, it's not that it's not that she's my favorite. It's that I kind of ran out. He's my favorite. It's that I kind of kind of ran out of money. <laughs> I feel so bad. We need to redo her room too. So in the next room, we're gonna fix this mess up here, and we're gonna give Sari's the room that she deserves because I love her too. <laughs> Pleasantly hydrate. Okay, I will, Sophie. Thank you. Um, what is it? Sim logical? Oh, there's a whole set of mods called access control on Sim logical. Okay, I'll have to check that out. And yeah, so we've got another, we've got two bathrooms up here. This one doesn't even have a sink in it. That's weird. That's freaking weird. And then we've got a half bath over here. It's just, this is, a, this house is weird and I want to work on it a little bit. Um in next week's stream and especially work on series's room and yeah they're gonna owe, owe a bunch of taxes let's see how much money they make let's go ahead and play through this day and just see how much money they make at the end of the day bella's just chilling in here chilling in the house but once they get home she's got to go back down to the dungeon little jared little jared's all right jared gerald i mean series will be their next subject oh no they do love their children, evil though they may be. She wa I know, she wants to talk to Gerard. Maybe this would be a good time for her to call him. Um, while nobody's here, let's go call him and talk to him. And see what, see if she can be like, I need help. 
What? Jeez, Bella. Bella does not does not like the maid. She was like, ugh. Uh, let's go call Gerard. He's she's gonna be like, hey, remember me? You cannot invite him over here. I feel like anybody she invites over here would be their next subject. Oh my gosh, now she has all these wants to flirt with him and stuff. And he had kids with Chloe, and then he got romantically involved with Tina. So I don't know what's going on there. Gerard is in is in high demand in Strange Town. <laughs> yeah, she is with Tina, yeah. You might immediately go and redesign this house after the stream. Yeah, it needs it. It needs it. It's not terrible, it just needs a few tweaks, I think. He's a family sim, yeah. Okay, she needs to get some food. Let's get some leftovers here. Goop uh, that looks like goopy carb. Wasn't Gary Walton after? Um, I don't think so. I think it was just Gerard. She doesn't look like she knows Gary Walton. I get Gerard and Gary mixed up, so maybe you do too. <laughs> Bella can only have one kid because she's a romance sim and she already had her little Gerard, so... Or, why do I keep calling him Jared and Gerard? <laughs> Ger Gerald? I can't remember the baby's name. Um, but I might let her have another child if she got into a relationship since she was kind of like forced to have the alien baby, you know? Uh, thank you so much, Sir Azeroth, for the five months at Tier 1. Thank you. Too many G names in this town. Gerald, Gerald, Greg, J I don't know. Gerard. You're hoping for Belly, Bella and Johnny? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not. Okay, she's going, she's gotta go take care of the baby. She's got her little, her little dungeon room down here. You know what, we need a trash can down here for the bottles. Um, let me put a trash can down here. Oops. Go down a floor. There we go. Turn off. Alright, there. Now we got a trash can. She's got everything she needs down here. She's got a little- the only thing she has for entertainment is a little bookshelf and her baby. Okay, Adam's home from school. His grades are going up. And she needs to change. She's nursing the baby, but she needs to change his diaper. Adam brought David Gibson home from school. Aw, thank you so much, Eliz Elizabeth Emery, for the uh, tier one sub. Thank you very much. Yeah, the dungeon room. Adam, where are you? Let's go check. Let's go check in on him. So he just got home from school. He's going to put his uh, homework up in his room. His desk here. Yeah, I spoiled the heck out of him with this room. I did. But see, we really need to redo this room because this was his childhood room. And I really would like to redo it. See, now he's a teenager. He likes the color green now. No, don't go do that. I know what you're doing and stop it. Go use the bathroom. Go use the bathroom to take a bath. Um, and let's go check in on Bella. All right, did you change the diaper? Change the diaper. Then give him a little cuddle. Put him in the crib. And let's clean up your, your space here. You don't want all the stinky, rotten diapers and bottles everywhere in your dungeon room. Oh, 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 sorry. If everything just went shaking, I just hit my desk accidentally. Yes, Adam is dating Samuel Subject. And right now he also wants to go out with Ishmael, who's his best friend. But yeah, he's in a, he's got a crush on Samuel Subject, so I don't think they're going steady, but they have a crush. Okay, so he's up here taking a bath. And then I guess we're just waiting for Loki and uh, Cersei to get home from work. There goes Judy walking by. Watch out, Judy! Keep going! You don't want to get caught here. Leave! Leave! Get out of here! I love the alien crash site back there. It's Adam. A-T-O-M. Yeah. Adam. Adam Beaker. Alright, he needs some social really bad. Uh, oh, he- that's right, his friend David Gibson is here, so they can hang out together. 
Hold up, hold up. Let's, um... Let's hang out. Hang out with David. Get your social up. You don't have to clean the bathtub. We've got a maid. Alright, Ceres is home from school. Let's see how she's doing. She's got a cute little outfit on here. She is really, um... How can I put this? She's very interesting looking. Yeah, Adam is Adam and Dawn is Dawn. That's just how I talk. <laughs> she's, uh... Well... She's... Bless her heart. Bless her... Bless her little heart. <laughs> Bless her little heart. Yep, she looks like her parents' child. I'm. It's gonna be interesting to see what she looks like as a teen. You know what I mean? She, she'll grow into her features. She will grow into her features, okay? She's gonna be passing on those Loki jeans in Strange Town. She's precious, she is. She has a very nice personality. She's precious. Why, how are they hanging out like this? Look at this. Stop this. This is ridiculous. Here. Go outside and like hang out or something. I don't know. Go in. That was so dumb. Go here. Go in your room. Wait, did you just crush on David Gibson? Oh my gosh. No, David Gibson's taken and I'm pretty sure he's straight. Okay, call him over into your room. He was trying to go to the bathroom. Oops. Oh, no, no, come here. Stop it. Come back here. Come, I was trying to have you guys go hang out in your room. There we go. Um, oh, they're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. That's fine. I just wanted you to get your social up and play in your room, or take your friend to your room. Ooh, smart investing in increased our funds by 130 simoleons. She's gonna become an evil scientist at this rate. <laughs> I love unique looking kids too. I do. Um, you never know what they're gonna look like when they age up. She And and so, in next week's Saturday stream, we're gonna find out what she looks like, because she's gonna age up to a teen. And maybe we'll wait till she ages up to a teen to, like, really do her room. Okay, these two are playing, having a good time. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing chess. Alright. That's cool. Um, Bella, what are you doing? Oh, you're reading a book, listening to some R&B. Watching TV at the same time. Okay, turn this off. If you want to watch TV, turn that off. And she's hungry again. Man, did we did we give her any points? No, she has none of her points. No wonder. Okay, go um, get leftovers and eat before they get home. And how about you? Did we give you your points? No, we did not. Should I give him summon aliens? I'm not going to give it to him yet. I'm not going to give him summon aliens yet. Or should I? I should give him summon aliens because that's a way that he and Samuel can have a child. I'm going to give it to him. Okay, and you don't get any points yet because you're a child. She's been eating that goopy carbonara all day. And then let me check on these. Okay, so he still has a secondary family. We need to get rid of that. And she still, she does not have a secondary. Okay, I'm giving her the work track. Um, so yeah, we need to redo Loki's personality. So don't let me forget that. Yeah. Bella needs to hurry up and eat because I'm pretty sure Cersei gets home at six. So hurry up and eat, hurry up and eat. And then you gotta clean up your dish real fast. Hurry up, hurry up, clean up. Turn off the TV and get downstairs. You got like 25 minutes. Get on it. Get back down there. Okay, perfect. Oh, Gerald's birthday is only a day away. So next week, Gerald is also going to... Um, oh, and Sari. So Ger Gerald and Sari are going to age up. And wait, is Adam going to college? Um, yes, Adam will be going to college, y'all. So Adam's not going to go to college with uh, Samuel? Oh, that's sad. He's going to be going this round. Okay, well, there's another sim going. Samuel may not really be his forever. That's true. They only have one bolt. 
They've just been kind of going out with each other as teens. You never know. He might go to college and meet somebody that he has three bolts with. And poor Samuel get left behind and have to find somebody in college, too. Okay, so I think uh, Ceres is getting home now. Let's see how much money she made. Four seventy-five. Okay, this is not going to be enough to pay their taxes. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, and now we'll just wait for Loki to get home. She's going to come in. She's, like, super exhausted. She wants to talk to Ceres. And we need to take care of her needs. Hey. No, Bella! Go! Stay! Stay put, Bella! You can't come out! You'll get punished! Oh, she's trying to take a bath. Okay, you can come out and bathe. You know what we should do is put one of those showers down here. Hold up. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put one of those, like, you know what I'm talking about. We're gonna put one of those horrible showers. One of these. There's your shower, Bella. Come back down to your shower. This college round is the boring sims, and next round is the romance sims. Yeah, next one's gonna be crazy. No, go back. Go back, Bella. Go back. Ceres didn't notice. I mean, Cersei. Jeez. Okay, yeah, she wants to talk to Ceres, so she's gonna come play chess with her. That's good. I don't know. David Gibson might want to get on out of town before... <laughs> Before Loki comes back. I think Adam's gonna be like, um, you need to go before my dad gets here. He might keep you in the dungeon. We're gonna tell him goodbye. Say goodbye. Don't flirt. Dawn is going. Tycho's going. They're gonna be fun. I think Dawn and Tycho are gonna be fun in college. And then Adam too. And I don't know who else yet. We have a lot of teens, but I don't know which ones are aging up this round. Did you tell him bye? No, you're listening to his joke. Say goodbye. He's gotta go. I don't trust- I don't trust Loki. Get out of here before Loki experiments on you! Don and Taika will rack up some jail time for sure. Oh, I bet they will. Yeah, go out the back door. Go out the back door, David. Where are you going? Oh, he didn't even leave! Okay. 385 so they don't even have four grand they're not i don't think they're going to be able to pay their taxes okay so i'm going to go ahead and save here so next week we will be aging up we will have gerald aging up we will have series aging up we will have adam going to college and i don't know what's going to happen adam doesn't want to say goodbye yeah i don't know what's going to happen with bella we'll just have to wait and see Maybe once Gerald becomes a child, um, Adam can help them get out or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the stream up here for today. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming this Friday, but I will definitely be streaming on Saturday and Sunday. Strange Town on Saturday and Sunday this coming up week. First week of April. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the subs. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. There's not much left. Happy Easter if you celebrate it. And uh, I will see you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.